Today we're going to be talking about all the TV shows and movies coming out in March 2022 that feature queer women in them. Coming out March 3rd is Star Trek Picard. Now I'll be honest, I've not seen anything Star Trek ever. I've never seen Star Trek Picard, I've never seen any Star Treks, um, but I've been told that at the end of season one, so the last season, the character Seven of Nine was sort of officially became canically queer, and that will potentially be explored in season two as well with a, another character, I think her name is Raffi. So again, like I said, I've never seen the series, I don't know if it's any good. If you guys have seen it, I would love to know your thoughts. Is this something that you would recommend people seeing? What do you think? about the queer representation in it, let us know in the comments below. Returning March 11th is Charmed season four. Now I caught up with Charmed last season because I had thought that there was going to be a thing between Mel and Abigail. That didn't really come true, but I still have hopes because they have insane chemistry, insane chemistry. And like, it's right there. The potential is right there. They need to go for it. So really I, I'm invested in Mel and Abigail, but that's about it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what this new season of Charmed brings. Um, hopefully more queerness. I mean, obviously there will be queerness, but um, hopefully more. Next, coming out March 19th is The Owl House. So this is season 2B, I believe. The Owl House is an adorable Disney show that features a queer couple like as the main characters so Luce and Amity have like this really really cute storyline from like the get-go from season one it's it's really adorable unfortunately I think this is their last season um but yeah so the Owl House season two will be coming back on March 19th coming out March 22 is the principles of pleasure on Netflix now, I don't know much about this show because I cannot find a trailer anywhere. The only thing that I've seen is like this blurb that was on the Netflix, uh, like coming up section. So the blurb says, sex, joy, and modern science coverage in this eye-opening series that celebrates the complex world of women's pleasure and puts stubborn myths to rest. It's a doco series and I've got like this preview picture which hoping leads to queerness. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm mentioning it because I have no idea. Looks like it has potential queerness though. So that's coming out March 22 on Netflix. So Bridgerton is coming back for a season two on March 25th and I'm putting it in this list because like I said, I'm just putting my hopes and dreams out there. Since season one, I've wanted Eloise to be queer. Like she's got the makings of a queer character. And so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that comes through in season two. Honestly, I don't have high hopes, <laughs> but I'm putting it out there. Like my, my OTP is Eloise and Penelope. That pairing can never end well, but you know what? It's out there. That's what I want. <laughs> so yeah putting good vibes out there. Honestly, whenever I do put good vibes out there on these on these videos, you know, more often than not, they come true. So we're just putting that out there. Moving on to series that are continuing on into March. Obviously, we've got Killing Eve that just started up. A couple that I haven't mentioned previously, Astrid and Lily Save the World is one that I've recently just caught up on and I would highly, highly recommend you guys check it out if you haven't yet. It is a, a show on sci-fi and as you guys know, if you obviously have watched Winona Earp or anything like that, sci-fi is the home for the best shit shows. <laughs> Asher and Lily Save the World really does give me like Winona Earp vibes, kind of like Buffy vibes. It's it's like, a, like you know, these two girls are slaying demons, saving the world, but it's like really, really dorky in the best way possible. Now, nothing has happened as of yet, but there is definitely chemistry and a build up towards Lily and Candace, which I am, oh, I'm so here for, and I would highly recommend jumping on this ship because I am just so excited about it. <laughs> like the show is just really, really fun. And I'm just really happy like watching it and I just want more people to watch it. <laughs> Aside from Lily and Candace, Lily's um, parents, she actually has two mums um, who are queer together, obviously, which is cool. And, it, and they actually have quite a few queer characters in this show. Um, and there are a lot of like storylines that play into that. Like there is definitely like a, a very big religious aspect to this show with demons and stuff like that. 
Um, and there's this whole rift between Candace, Candace's mum and Lily and Lily's mums. Um, because Candace's mum is very, very religious and very homophobic. <laughs> Which obviously then is looks like is causing tension with Candace herself. It's very, I don't know, it, I just am very intrigued by the show and I highly recommend it. Another one that I've recently jumped on is Single Drunk Female. Really, really good show to watch as well. The main character is Bi. She um, has had a hookup with a girl in the show. I think it was like episode five. Really, really hot, would have loved to see more, but it was definitely like, I mean, they set it up the whole episode as just sort of like a, a one-time fling. She has like this other um, love interest, which is a guy, but yeah, so she is by the main character. Also the main character's um, sponsor, so obviously, um, by the title, single drunk female, is about this uh, this girl sort of um, going through, you know, sobriety and stuff like that. So she has a sponsor. Her sponsor is hella gay. Olivia has a wife who is very eccentric, and I just love them, those two, so much. They're they're adorable, and I love their storyline. Obviously, would just love to see more of them. So yeah, those two definitely would recommend checking out if you haven't already. They're continuing on into March. Also returning, How I Met Your Father, Snowpiercer, NCIS Hawaii, Legends of Tomorrow, Batwoman, and Riverdale. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out this video I did of the new season of Killing Eve. We've got the final season. First two episodes are out. I talked about them. Go check it out. And also subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. All right, I'll see you all in my next one. Okay, bye.